Hey friends, it's Oracle Jesse here and Faithful. And today I figured I would give you an update on the WRTR and the RTR so far. Um, yeah, first off, um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Oracle Jesse, she, her, hers. And I do spiritual empowerment coaching for the LGBT crowd. So I help people who have had past religious and spiritual traumas and integrate them into their lives and heal those past traumas while empowering them themselves and teaching them how to build their own personal positive belief system. I'm sorry, you guys don't want cat butt. <laughs> but that's what you get sometimes when you have cats. Um, so, I didn't even write anything down about my thoughts on the WRTR. There's plenty of mixed reviews out there on the WRTR, especially in the YouTube community. Um, honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to agree with what Crystal Vanner said. It's easy to go to an event and have an opinion on the event, um, positive or negative, you know, if it's, if it's not your event. Um, and it's easy to just form an opinion and, and go from there. But it's hard to put on an event of this size. Um, and at the WRTR, I believe we had a thousand to 1500 women there and um so yeah you there's there's definitely no pleasing and everyone there's there's no pleasing everyone um but yeah so my thoughts on it um i guess i only really honestly have one big big, huge negative, um, and that would have to be, I want these spaces, um, whether they're women's or men's only spaces, to be more inclusive for trans women and trans men and, um, anyone on the gender fluid spectrum, um, some could argue that as women, if we choose to live a nomadic lifestyle, that we are on the gender fluid spectrum because we are bucking the norm on, um, on what it means to be a woman in today's society. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, <sighs> hold on. <laughs> a long day and it's hot so but yeah anyway so what was I gonna say it's yeah it's just I feel like everybody is learning and the LGBT community is relatively new to the, um, I guess the feminist movement, in my opinion. Um, so everybody is still learning what language to use. It's still being debated even within the LGBT community, even within the trans community. Um, but I feel like uterus having people have a space in women's spaces, whether they claim the term woman or not. Um, honestly, I do not claim that label, but I know I have a seat at that table because I present as femme most of the time. I am a uterus having person and I happen to um, look like one by traditional society standards. So, um, yeah, I just kind of want 
to open it up more. And honestly, I don't necessarily have all the answers on that one. Um, I do want to be able to speak to several of my um, trans femme gender fluid friends on it so that we can see what we can do to get some hardcore um, suggestions on um, two, two people and orga organizations in general about how to be more trans women inclusive, trans inclusive, I guess I should say, I'm sorry, um, trans and gender fluid inclusive. Um, and that's that's something that I definitely put in the suggestion box, and I would totally be willing and open to discussion with anybody on this. I um, this is this is something that I feel like is important. It is important for women and uterus having people to have safe spaces. It is important. It's not up for debate. Not on my channel. Um, and we can also include more people than just labeling it as a women's only event. Um, because there are issues that were discussed there and um, bonds that were formed that were wonderful um, that also include trans men um, and definitely trans women, and, um, yeah, I think, I think it's important if we're, if we're going to be holding these spaces for a variety of people, and we want to be inclusive, I think the people in the, um, in the positions of power, whether that be the, the organizers of the event or the volunteers or anyone working in the official capacity for, um, for our, um, RTR or the WRTR itself, um, I think it's important for them to have some basic training in language. And like I said, I think it's, it's confusing and hard for me to talk about, and I'm in it. I've been in, been in it for at least, you know, 10 years talking about it in academic language and, and in, um, the vernacular, you know? So it's just really important to continue to be open to educating oneself. So anyway, that's the only real hard, solid negative that I have. You know, um, there were some silly rules, but honestly, the rules are just part of the treat people the way you want to be treated. And um, everyone knows knows what, what that is. So, but I don't know. I'm not going to nitpick about the rules because like I said it's just it is it is easy to criticize an event if you had no part in the organization of it or if you had no part in participating in it um, but yeah I would I would definitely like to be a part of the solution going forward for opening it up to more to be more gender inclusive um, and I will definitely take the steps on my end to do that. Okay, moving on. So, the positives of the women's RTR. For me, it was a, a very transformative event. Um, and I, I just loved it. Like, the <clears throat> when I rolled up, it was after sunset. But it wasn't quite dark, um, so I was kind of nervous because I had um, been in Phoenix. I did my last grocery shopping in Phoenix, um, and the event was near Baus, Arizona. Um, so I did my grocery shopping. I hit the Planet Fitness for a last clean shower, and um, 
yeah, I, I headed to Bass and I was, knew I was going to cut it close to sunset. And I did end up showing up afterwards. And I just rolled up and parked in this beautiful spot. Oh my gosh, I could, and the spot that I had the first night, there was an unobstructed view of the Arizona desert because no one was parked there. And so I was able to see the sunrise in the morning and I was able to just enjoy the view. It was amazing. I, oh, the view of the Arizona desert. Um, and I met a couple of really nice ladies that first night. We ended up being friends. And then, um, I, we decided to go walking around because we heard, um, some people probably, you know, at a campfire. So we decided to walk around after dinner and it ended up being Crystal Vanner's crew, Crystal Vanner's family, I think she calls them. So, um, and honestly, I had heard of Crystal Vanner, um, before and, you know, with me being a creator myself, a lot of my, um, consumption of other people's stuff, um, on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram has really gone down a lot recently because I've just been, um, within myself. It's, it was important for me to do at the time. And, um, so I had fallen off her bandwagon, but, um, I'm, I'm really glad I walked up. It was an awesome, lovely group of women. And I ended up going there most nights, honestly, of the WRTR. So if you guys haven't checked her out already, um, definitely check out the link in the, um, description box below. She's, um, a wonderful person in general, representing people of color, um, women of color on the road. Um, and it's just, it's amazing what she does, how she does things. And, um, I, I really, I really like it. I really like her. Um, and, and her family, her family is just nothing but generous with me. My experience of them has been awesome and amazing. So, yeah. Um, so that was fun. I, um, like I said, I hung out with them most nights. And then I got to, um, I parked in the Rainbow Camp, of course. And so I got to meet a bunch of cool, awesome ladies there. And um, then we, um, one of my friends and I, they, um, do fire spinning. And, um, so I was able to help them in, um, with that because they did, um, fire spinning almost every night in, um, the art camp. So I got to know some of the art camp people really well. And, um, yeah, of course the, my fire spinner friend. So yeah, it's just, the connections I made during the event um, are, are, I can definitely see how, you know, some of the volunteers and the longtime RTR people say that you make lifelong connections there, and you definitely do. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm so excited and loved that I went. It's just a container of people that do the same thing. So like every night, you know, we might talk about, you know, boys and alcohol, but we also might talk about rigs, our rigs and what we do and how, how we got to where we were and, you know, life stories and swapping tips and, um, people helping other people, people helping change tires, people helping, you know, there's it's everything, everything was amazing. So helpful, so wonderful so, so many good experiences. And honestly, the volunteers for the WRTR event, they worked so hard and they did, a, they did an amazing job from my perspective, honestly. Um, I do know other people might have some issues with some inconsistencies, but honestly, with a group of volunteers that big, uh, you're going to have them. 
truth. You're gonna you're gonna have inconsistencies, and um, yeah, I just I'm floored at the opportunity to come and meet these these beautiful people. Um, I thought you know when I left Austin, I wasn't I wasn't quite sure that I would find a group of loving, supportive people again. Um, because Austin is so wonderful and I love Austin and I love the people that I've met there, but I, I have, and honestly that, that gives me some sort of hope for, for more in the future. And, um, for those of you who follow the law of attraction and manifestation and I, my, my vibration might be that now, now that I've, um, started to continue to discover and grow on my journey, it's, it's really fun to, fun to play around with, like, I can't, I'm excited to see what's next, um, to see who manifests into my life next, um, yeah. So that's, I guess that's what I have to say about the WRTR. I would love to, um, to make those changes, like I said, for the gender fluid and trans people. So, um, and then of course for the RTR2 itself, I don't necessarily, um, because it's a gender inclusive space, um, and not gender specific at the RTR, I have not had any, um, heard of any, any official person, per se, um, saying anything kind of, you know, off that would exclude people, but, um, I would, I would definitely be open to trying to, um, connect with other LGBT people who are also nomads and, um, trying to help in a more official capacity with opening it up to, um, LGBT plus inclusive language across the board. So, yes, I think that's it. Um, I've only had a couple of days worth at the RTR, um, I am parked with Crystal Vayner's family, so um, if you're at the RTR, feel free to come say hi. I'm in a Cadillac DeVille with two cats, and yes, we do live full-time, um, full-time in, in our vehicle. And so yeah, I'm parked with them. I also um, help facilitate the tarot and oracle readings over at the Art Zone which, um, used to be art camp, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm over there often, and yeah, I guess that's, that's it, so I will get this video uploaded as soon as possible, today is Thursday, so I'm supposed to be uploading this today, so we'll see if that gets done, but yeah, I'm excited, I'm, I guess I will update you guys next Thursday on how the RTR is going because um, this is nearly a two-week event so I'll give you an update next week don't forget to check out the energetic reading that I posted this past Monday and don't forget the energetic reading also on um, for this upcoming Monday also if you guys are interested in getting a tarot reading from me if you're at the RTR yes come find me, and I will also be at, um, doing some days at Art Camp, but if you want to do a more, um, a more secluded and private reading, one-on-one -on -one with me, yes, definitely come find me, I am open to that. Um, also, if any of you are not at the RTR, um, check my Facebook and Instagram at Oracle Jesse. Um, send me a donation of any dollar amount 
and um, then message me on either Facebook or Instagram what your topic is and um, of course that you sent me a donation and then I will upload a video reading just like the video readings that I do on Mondays for you for on that topic or question and I will um, definitely that's that's gonna go for the entire month of January so you still have plenty of time but get it in as soon as possible so that I can get to your reading at as soon as possible so it's relevant for you <sighs> okay I think that's it that video was long enough thank you so much for being here I really appreciate you um, definitely share this video with your friends if you think they are interested in what I'm doing or um, yeah just tell me what you think tell me what you think down below I know RTR and WRTR are popular topics right now. Um, but yeah, I would love to hear what you think. I'm going to get off here. I love you all. Hasta la bye-bye. Have a good one.